Welcome to the fastest stuff in town. Today we're going to start the Ksuba stuff, Samach Hay. We are going to begin on the very bottom of Samach Dalad with Bays by the two dots, last line. So the Mishnah said, Venosin Lachatzi Kav Kitnius. So the husband has an obligation to provide for his wife certain foods. However, it does not mention wine. Apparently, wine is not one of the things that a husband has to give his wife. We do not give wine to a woman. Because this will cause a woman to have a desire for relations, and therefore we don't want her to have uh, wine. The im timer. If you want to say it one second, the pasuk says, "El cham achre mi ovai noisne lachmi mi yomai tzamri pishti sham sham nevishikuyai." Now it says over here that uh, I, I will go uh, and give to my beloved. I'm going to give them bread and drink and wool and linen and oil and uh, all this for them to be able to to consume. So our answer is Devarim Sheisha Mishtoi Kekes Alehen Umay Nihu Tachshitin. This is not referring to wine that she's desiring, but rather it's something which she has a different desire for, which is Tachshitin, beautiful clothing and jewelry. Dorish Reb Yehuda Ishkvar Neviroi. The Yomel Some say it was Ishkvar Nafor Chayil Menayin Shein Chayil Menayin Shein Poiskin Yenus Leisha. So the same question is posed. Shnemar based on the beginning of Shmuel Aleph with the story of Chana. V'tokem Chana achrei ochla b'shiloi, and Chana got up after she was eating in Shilo. V'yachar shasoi, and after he Elkana was drinking. Shaso v'lo shasos. So we see over here that he was drinking. Mashma, she's not supposed to drink. El miyata ochla v'lo ochoil. Does that mean he only? Drank, but he didn't eat. Hachinami anan minishani kra b'di bora kamrinan. We're focusing on the fact that the pasuk changes its language. Michti b'gavo regarding chana koasik. It was talking about the vasi. So my time is shani. So why does it deviate and start talking about her husband? Shema mina shasul shasus. It's coming to tell you that only the woman uh, is involved in eating. But when it comes to a husband, he will certainly eat, but it means that he was not, she's not going to drink. So, Mezve. So, we're asked the following question. Regila, if a person is accustomed to this, nice little gift to her. So, we're answer Regila Shani. It's different, says Rashi. Kivan de enu chidishla, kvar dashaba de enu meziach liba. So, if she drinks wine, doesn't mean she's an alcoholic, but it means it's something which she's used to that, um, being uh, every so often that feeling, so therefore she's able to control herself. If she's accustomed to drinking wine, nice and give her a cup. If she's not accustomed, then nice and low, stay kaisa. So we give her a lot of wine, which makes no sense. So my karma, so I'm going to buy kaisa. It means like this that if she drinks two cups in front of her husband, so even when her husband's not around, we can let her have one cup. If let's say she only drinks one cup in front of her husband, then in that situation, we're not going to give her wine at all. So if she drinks two cups of wine in front of her husband, we'll get, let her drink one cup there as well, because we're talking about Ali Shlish. This is talking about in the Mishnah that there was a third party who was involved in distributing all this food. Or you can say that when a person is rogil, we'll give her siki kadera. So actually, it says to be able to have this this dish. So it's a story regarding the daughter-in-law. That they designated a uh, uh, measure of wine for this siki kadera for this dish. Merev Shabbos, Merev Shabbos. Amr Lahen, Kach Tifsiku Livnoi Sechem. Such is what is designated for uh, my daughters. So let's look at question six. Hamasher Isha Alide Shlish, 
So again, as we said, if she's rugil anyway in front of her husband, we get to drink two cups. Then nice little kais echad. Then we'll allow her to drink. Uh, we'll give her one cup. Again, the whole issue is because it cr- increases the time of tashmish. So her husband's not around. So we obviously don't want to give her things that are going to make her want to have tashmish, which obviously. Uh, we can understand the devastation in the event that she ends up acting on that with another man. Looking at question TA nineteen, isha. So he says, if they're not accustomed to drink, in we don't give. Regila, if she does drink normally, she drinks two, Paiska we do give her. And it says Paiska Kois Achas. Um and it also says the other Lushan, Paiskin Baragila Litsika Kadera. Okay. So the Gemara continues and says as follows. Tana. Shomer Shavam Haisa. Vlo Anu Achara. Shomer Shavam Haisa. Vlo Anu Achareha Amen. So we're saying that this woman was actually a Shomer Shavam. And it says that they did not answer uh, after her. Tana. Kaisa Echad Yafal Isha. One cup of wine is good for a woman. Shnaim nivelhu. Two already, it's an element of, uh, m- it's manuvel, it's disgusting. Shloisha tobas bepeh. Three, she's actually going to request tashmish even verbally. Arba fil chamor tobas beshuk veinu makpedes. Once there's, she's already drank four cups, even literally a donkey in the market, she's not going to complain. In other words, when she's totally drunk, it's not going to uh, matter. That's only if their husband's not with her. If her husband's with her, it's not a problem because even if you know she's very drunk, but she's going to be with her husband. But this whole story with Chana, this Raya that she didn't drink, was when she was with her husband. So shani. So even though she can have Tashmish, she's going to probably have Tashmish. So what was the problem? Chana was with her husband. It's because they were guests. The Yomar Huna. That when you have guests, you're not allowed to have Tashmish when you're in someone else's house. Same Pasuk. They got up in the morning. And they return. Um, so it says that Elkanah had relations with his wife when Hashta in. Only now when they re- returned home Mikarolo, not before. Now the truth is that if we know the whole story of Shmuel Aleph, we know that the whole tension when he she was davening is that the Kohen Gadol, Ailey the Kohen Gadol, thought that she was drunk, and she was not drunk. So perhaps this pasuk is actually to emphasize this notion is that there should be no doubt that she did not have anything to drink. Okay. Choma. The base of the Abaya, Chaima, who was the, that was her name, that was Abaya's wife's name, Asola Kameda Rabba. So she went in front of Rabba, Amrulay, and she said to him, Paisikli Mazaini, provide for me some food. My husband's not here. Um, Chaima, some say it's with, an, with a hay. Pasikla, so Pasikli he gave to her. Pasikli Chamra, give me wine. Amrulay, Yodanabe Benachmani. I know because of Nachmeni, which is another name of Abaya, your husband, you typically don't drink wine. So what's going on over here? So I'm Raze. I can assure you that in fact I drink Bishuf Raze. Rashi says, Gevim Aruchim. Um, these uh, lengthy uh, uh, goblets. Ki hai bahade de kom machvile igali dara. And when uh, it was uh, brought, it was brought, uh, the arm was revealed. So, nafal nahayra bebeidina. So, there was this light that came forth from the light, from the arm. Kom rabba al abese. And so he went to his house. Tavo labas ravchista. And he went to the daughter of Chista, says Rashi, Tavas Ishtal Atashmish, which is his wife. Um, 
Bas Rav Chista, which is brought down in uh, Brachos, actually, that uh, the interpreter Bar Henya was uh, one of the, the the one thing he wasn't Michael was when he said that she was going to die based on his dreams. So I'm Malay, Bas Rav Chista Man Havia Inna Bebeidina. So he said, who who exactly came to base then? I'm Malay Chayma the base of the Abaya. It was uh, Abaya's wife. So Nafka Abasra, so she went after her, and Machtala Bekulfe Deshida, and uh, they uh, hit her, it says Rashi Bekulfe Deshida, but Manuvel Shil Argaz, with this uh, type of, like, um, chest, chestnut of sorts. Adi Afkala Mekuli Mechaiza, until it came out from um, all of this uh, location. Amrullah, Katalech Tlasa the Asas al Mikdalachrina said that uh, you killed three and now you're going to try to kill uh, another. What does that mean? So Rashi says regarding Chaima Shekfar Nises al Gimel, she was married before three times, Umesu, and her husbands died. Kidamrina Miyavamas prepare Kabal Yavimtoi. So a Mikdalachrina Shabas Laharois Yofyech, you're going to show your beauty, Shiikbos Ishalaich that men are going to come upon you. So basically she was saying, she was saying that you should not um, be flaunting your beauty as you did. The base of Rav Yosef, uh, the wife of Rav Yosef, Bereda Rav, Asal Kameda Rav Nechemia, Bereda Rav Yosef, Amrile, Pasek Lemezayin, give me food. Pasek Lemezayin, so he did. Pasek Lemezayin, give me wine. So Pasek Lemezayin, give me wine. Amrile, Yadana Behu, Bebnei Mechayi, Zedashas HaChamra. I know that uh, people over there, they drink wine, so it's no big deal. The base of Rav Yosef, Bereda Rav the Rav Menashe Midvil Asoli Kameid Rav Yosef. So again, in this situation, we have um, this person went in front of the, the wife of Rav Yosef. Rav Menashe went in front of Rav Yosef. I'm only pasuk to give me food. So pasuk pasuk lechamra give me drinks and wine. So pasuk he gave uh, her wine. Pasuk Shiroi, give me. Um, Garments of silk. Sarmale shiroi lomo lomale. Why do you need it? Leich lechavroch lechav ruroch. Says Rashi shlo is boze al habriyos. You should go and to your friend and to your friend's friend, so you should not uh, be embarrassed. Mechvoidi harisha in lo befanecha lo vifne chaviracha. Okay. Um, Viter, the nice and lamita umapits. So, other things you're supposed to give to your wife is a bed and a mattress, a soft mattress. So, mapits machselas lomula, do you have a summer papa, but asu den higi, the mole puria bachavle, the mig bagarla. It's in a place in which they do not have actually a mattress, which is extremely uncomfortable. Instead, they have these ropes, and because of that. Says Rashi, Mitzari law, uh, it causes extra tsar, and therefore that's the reason why it's um, all, all of these mat, all, all of this other stuff is given. Okay. Tanurban, a nice and little keses. We don't give a pill in blank. I'm sure nice and little carbic keses. She should get it. So hey, Chadami, either orcha, if it's normal that she has it, so my time the Tanakama, then why would the Tanakama say that you don't give? The the lab if she's not accustomed to a pull and blank in my time of Rav Nosson, then why should she get? So he, it's his custom that his city and his life they always had a pill and blanket, but she and her family never did. And all of a sudden they're married. So Tanakama Savar, so Tanakama says she doesn't need a pill and blanket because Amrla he could say to her Kiazilna Shakilnulahu that when I go. I'll take it with me. And when we're together, uh, it'll 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 be together because you don't really use it anyway, so it's no big deal. Rav Nasan Savar Amrulaid, she could actually claim Maybe you're going to come right before Shabbos. And you're going to not bring your pillow and blanket. You end up taking mine. And I'll end up sleeping literally on the <coughs> on the ground. Okay. Manaisin lo kipa. You also give her a kipa, some type of a hat. So, Amelie Rapopla Baez, we continue to Samachem and Baez. 
Hai Tana Shliach Artiloi Varami Mitsane says Rashi. Mushif Oram. I understand they should be stripped and naked. Shein Loi Khalifas Begadim El Mishan Lashana. You're saying that she should only get garments once a year. And the shoes one holiday. Don't give her extra shoe, other clothes. So the only thing you should give her are new shoes and that's it. So um, so it's great. She's, she's going to be our room. She's not going to have any clothes, but she's going to have shoes. So The reason why we give her shoes is because they live in a rocky mountainous region. There's it's not enough. You constantly need to be replacing your shoes three times a year. It's just coming to tell us that this vinhu that perhaps the moe during the Shoshar Kol was the best time to give her these shoes. There's three of them. So this way you'll be able to increase her joy by giving it to her at that time during the Yom Tov. So you have to give her three times anyway, so you might as well give it during the Yom Tov. <coughs> so in addition to that, all the different things that a man is supposed to provide for his wife, as we mentioned all these things, including shoes, Clothing, which are 50 zuz, you can purchase it once a year. And you have to be careful that not to give chadashim, uh, not lo which is hot, and not worn out garments in the mosagashamim. El anaisim kalim shel chamishim zuz be mosagashamim. You give her the more, the, the thicker when, when it's cold out, and she'll wear it. And she can, it'll end up wearing out a little bit and be thinner, and she'll be able to wear over the summer also. So that's the more logical time to uh, buy clothing. So on this, um, uh, when it's speaking about chamishim zuz, it's talking about fifty zuz pshite. It says Rashi zuzi medina. which is more in condition that uh, it's one eighth. Of the monies which are from Suri. So it's a lesser currency by an eighth. Because it's talking about this is the minimum, give to the poor. So it must be, it's talking about the minimum amount of the monies. It must be talking about Pshite Zuzi Medina, which is an eighth of the Zuzi Suri. Because there's no way someone, Anishim Yisrael, we're going to ask them that they should have so much. Mamish means fifty zuz, a tremendous amount. Where are they going to get that money? Okay. So the question is, when it comes to the leftover mizonos, <coughs> who does it go to? So the din is, as Rashi could go in Isha, Shemazainais Hamurim be Mishnasenu, Oidfin La Sheenu Rav Tanis. So you give her Mizonos, and it turns out that she has extra food. Uh, she's not eating all of that which maybe a typical woman would eat. She eats less. So the question is, who is entitled to this leftover Mizonos? So the, the Gemara says it goes to the husband. However, if she has the clothing, which you give her once a year, and it's worn out, so and then let's say you give her new clothing again next year, she still gets to keep the other clothing from the year before, the ones which are a little bit worn out. So we say, the leftover clothing goes to the woman. So basically, like, what is the, the whole purpose, says Rashi? So this is referring specifically, so you have a woman um, who is a, is a, is a, is a, an almana, and she's collecting from the estate of the Yisayimim, it's upon them, so they're the ones that have to provide. So so she can wear these garments while she is a nida, so she has like another set of clothing. Kaneshlo tis gana al bala. 
so she's not repulsive to her husband. Says Rashi, So now she has another set of clothing, so this way she can wear some clothing while she's in Nida, and she can wear her fresh new clothing when she's Tahara, which will be more, um, she'll be more beautiful in that way. Omer Abaya Naktinan, we hold, we have the tradition that Moisa Bulais Almada, that when it comes to the leftover um, clothing of a widow, Yarshov, that actually those, unlike what we were talking about giving over to the husband, the Rashi quoted before was talking about this, actually the, inher- the Yarshim get it. Hasim hu delot his gani ba'apei, hachet his gani his gani. So the whole reason why she gets to keep the Bulais is because she's married, so that this way she can have another set of clothing, so she looks appealing to her husband. But Nalmana, which is referring to a situation in which she doesn't have a husband, her husband died, so therefore it doesn't make any difference if she only has one set of clothing, and therefore the boys go to the Yusayim. Question 7. Isha hanizaynis mishal bala, o almana mishal Yusayimim shal mi moise umadua. So we say, if it's mishal bala, then she gets to keep it. Kadesh is going to bala. So this way she could wear a different garments during when she's in Nida, when she's ta- when she's Tahara. However, when she's with the Yisayimim, the Moiser Bloys go to them. Because that reason obviously does not apply. That was question seven. Okay. So let's see this Rashi. Fine. Nice in law. So in addition, you're supposed to give her some spending money, which is a uh, a silver ma. So ma kesef, and it says litzarcha for her needs. So and, and then it says if a person doesn't do this, then masyadeh shula, then she'll be able to keep her masyadeha, the work of her wool that she spun. So notice the ma kesef, and then it also says that. You have an obligation. You're supposed to eat with her. So my ochelas, Rav Nachman, I'm ochelas mamish. You're supposed to eat with her and spend time with her. Ravashi, I'm tashmish. It means the requirement of having marital relations. Tanan, ochelas imoy leil shabbos. You're supposed to eat with her on Friday night. So bishul on the merachilu hanu netani. Oichelas. That's why it says the word achelas, eating, because that's what you were doing. That's a strange word. So lishtamalia. It's just saying it in a nicer language, so we don't speak in a perverse manner. Achla, they ate umachta pia and they wiped their mouth, we amuloi pu'alti alban I haven't seen. Which is referring actually in Mishle to Tashmish. Meshavas. You eat with her each Shabbos. So Bishlaman Yom Rechila Hainu eating Hainu Netani Veshavas, which is actually referring to during the day. Alman Diyam Etashmish Tamish Tamish Veshavas Meika Yom Reb Huni Yisrael Kedosh Mehin Then Veshavashim Do Sand Bayoim. So what does it mean? How are you ever ha- able to have Tashmish during the day? The answer is you could. I'm a rabbi, but by a mutter. If it's in a dark house, deem hoisa menika. So then the Mishnah says that even though she's supposed to provide. Um, woven materials to her husband, depending the quality, or it's in Yehuda or in Goel. However, if she's actually nursing, we deduct it. We do not have to, she does not have to produce the same amount of because she's busy with her child. And we also give her more food because she has, she needs uh, food either maybe for herself or for the baby. So, Im Hoyisa Manika Darsh Rabbi Ula. So the question is, why does he have to give extra food? He doesn't have to support his children, even though Usha was Masakin, as an Usha was Masakin. You still need to provide for your little, little kids. Ad Kama, Ad Ben Shesh. At least until the child is six years old, and Taisa says, we're actually going to force them that. Uh, up until six years old, you have to at least take care of your kids up until that stage at the very least. Kid Rav Asi, the Rav Asi, Katan Ben Sheish, once kid six, Yitzi Be'erev Imoy. He goes out with his mother's Arab. What does that mean, says Rashi? So 
So the question is, when it comes to making an Eruv, so you can't have an Eruv in the north and the south. So the question is, in which direction is this child going to go if his mother made an Eruv in the north and his father made it in the south? So Rashi says, He goes to her. And not him. He still needs his mother. And they go after her, Alma. That until six, you need support from the mother. So too, you need to support them. If the woman is nursing, she doesn't have to give as much work. We're not going to require her to, to work as much. She gets some element of maternity leave. And you give her more food. They actually have to feed the child. Maybe the reason is because the child is sick. Or, or the, she's sick. Because she just gave birth to a baby, so she needs more food to get stronger. So it should actually say it explicitly if that was the situation. So it's obviously talking about it in all situations. Actually, perhaps it's just telling you any woman who's nursing, she falls in the category of a sick person. Itmar Nami Omar Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, my Stephen Layayan, Shayayan Yafa. That we actually, in this case, continuing to talk about wine, we will give her wine because it's good for her production of, of milk. Question TB20, which we did already. Moisa Belois, im hu laisha o lo. So he says, Kishabalachai Leisha, Balmana Leyarshav. That's TB20, which is similar to question seven. Hanulach Afal P, Hanulach Afal P, Hanulach Afal P. We continue with the sixth parak. Metsia Seisha, Masir Daho, Labawa. That the actions of her, the wife, as well as uh, anything that she finds, goes to her husband, Adkan.